Hey everyone, today I'm having a look at the Zotac Z68 ITX Wi-Fi Supreme motherboard. Now don't be fooled by this motherboard's size. It has an incredible amount of features for an ITX board. It has onboard NVIDIA GT430 1GB graphics. It has USB 3 and SATA 3. It has onboard 300 megabit Wi-Fi. It supports up to four independent displays. It has all the features of the Intel Z68 chipset such as Intel Smart Response Technology where you can use an SSD as your hard drive's cache. It also has socket 1155 which means you can plug in any 1155 CPU including K-series unlocked CPUs. Okay, now a quick look around the box. So just a look at the specifications. Now looking at the back of the box, there's a write-up on the motherboard. Just pause it if you want to read it. Just a diagram of the motherboard here. And a bit of a map of the layout. Just showing some of the features of the motherboard here. Alright, so the accessories that you get with the motherboard are quite extensive. There's quite a lot of them. So you've got two aerials here for the onboard Wi-Fi. Four SATA cables. Four pin EPS extension cable. Back I.O. shield. DVI to D-sub adapter. A USB 3 expansion slot adapter so you've got two USB 3 ports it plugs into a midboard USB 3 header and you've also got a low profile adapter in there you also get a user manual and a quick installation guide and a drivers DVD go to the website and download the latest drivers Alright, so it's time to have a look at this tiny little feature filled motherboard. Up here in the top left hand corner you can see a 4 pin EPS CPU power connector. Right next to it is a USB 3 header. Alright, so this is socket 1155. In the top right hand corner of the motherboard you can see the CPU fan header. It's a 4 pin fan header and it's above the sodium memory slots. So it has two sodium memory slots up to 16 gigabytes of 1333 megahertz dual channel DDR3. Below the memory slots is another 4 pin fan header. Moving down you can see the 24 pin motherboard power connector. To the left of that is a midboard USB 2 header. Below that is another 4 pin fan header. This is connected to the fan which is cooling the large heatsink on the motherboard which I'll talk about shortly. Below the 4 pin fan header is the front panel connector for power and reset etc. And next to that is the motherboard speaker connector. Just here we have four SATA connectors. The blue are SATA 3 and run off the Z68 chipset. and the red are SATA 2 and also run off the Z68 chipset. So there's only one PCI Express x4 slot on the motherboard and it's open ended. Above this is a large heatsink with what looks to be a 50mm cooling fan on it. Underneath this heatsink is an Nvidia GT430 1GB and also the Intel Z68 chipset. Down in the bottom left hand corner of the motherboard is the front panel audio header. Next to the CMOS battery is the wireless LAN card. It's 300 megabit 802.11n. So the wireless LAN card is actually plugged into a mini PCI Express port. Now looking at the back of the motherboard. So the heatsink is screwed on which is great to see. So now looking at the other mini PCI Express port on the back of the motherboard. 
you can see that the motherboard has a small MOSFET heatsink and it has a four phase power design. Thanks to the Z68 chipset which has Lucid Virtue, I'm pretty sure that because the NVIDIA GT430 one gigabyte graphics on this motherboard is actually acting as a discrete graphics card, the motherboard can switch between the graphics on board the Sandy Bridge CPUs to the NVIDIA GT430 or any discrete graphics card that gets plugged into the PCI Express slot. Now for a look at the rear I.O. panel. Starting from the left you can see a gigabit LAN port and two USB 3 ports. Now that's for a total of four USB 3 ports on this motherboard. Two on the midboard and two on the back panel. Moving along you can see the two aerial connectors for the onboard 300 megabit 802.11n and below them is a clear CMOS button. Moving along you can see two USB 2 ports. So that's for a total of four USB 2 ports on this motherboard. Two on the midboard and two on the back panel. Below them is an eSATA port which comes from the Z68 chipset. Moving across you can see a display port and a HDMI port and two DVI ports. This is thanks to the onboard NVIDIA GT430 and it's how the motherboard can drive four dis independent displays simultaneously. Moving across you can see the 7.1 surround sound audio and an optical SB diff out. So that sums up this review. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. Thanks everyone.